Okay, so using the second method, we're still finding the aerial surfaces in space. So if you happen to see this video face, just know we we solved this problem using the first method, and now it's solving it using another different method. Okay, okay. So in this method, we're going to use parametric equations. Okay, so let's analyze what we're given. Okay, we have we're given. You say this is the equation of a cone, and so this is the cone. Okay, but when using this method, you should be not worried about sketching. All you, all you need to know is just the limits. Okay, but it's good to sketch though. Okay. So if we solve this equation and this question simultaneously, we're going to see that x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 squared. x squared plus y squared is equal to 3 squared. And these are the equations of two circles. We have the first circle, okay. The first circle, let me write here y, x. So that means we have the first circle, the big one, which is a radius of three, okay. And we have another small circle, which is a radius of two. And the region we're concerned about is this region, okay. So I'm going to choose two parameters. I'm going to choose r and theta okay so since theta is going to be the angle so theta ranges from zero to two r is going to be the radius ranges from two to three okay theta is from zero to two pi sorry okay so i'm going to say x is equal to r cos theta okay y is equal to r sine theta and z is equal to x squared plus y squared or under the square root okay if it makes this the formula here i know that this is equal to r since r is equal to x squared plus y squared or under the square root so that means my new vector let me call it v theta t Okay, theta r is going to be r cos theta for the i component plus r sine theta for the j component plus r for the k component. Okay, this method seems long, but it's very useful because I'm going to use I have to calculate the cost product. So I think it's an exercise. Stokes for Stokes theorem and Green's theorem is very easy for especially in performing line integrals. So I think you should like it. So if we're given this now, I want to find V theta. So in other ways, I integrate you are differentiating this respect to the angle theta. And if we do that, we're going to get negative r sine theta here. Okay, so let me write in point form. And if we do that here, we're going to get r cos theta okay unfortunately don't have any we're going to get zero here and now we're going to v r we're differentiating with respect to r so we're going to have cos theta here and we're going to have r okay it's, it's now sine theta okay sine theta and here we're going to have one okay then the next thing since the formula Okay, I think I should have written the formula first. So the formula for finding areas in surfaces is now equal to the double integral of I've chosen V. So I'm going to say V theta, the gross product of V theta, V R, and find the magnitude of V theta times V R. This is the gross product. And I'm going to say this is going to be our limit. R theta. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And let's find the cross product. Okay, so I'm going to say V R cross V theta is equal to I J and K. Okay, so for for R, our I component is negative R sine theta j component r 
cos theta k component zero. Okay, then for VR, we have cos theta here, sine theta here, and we have one here. Okay, in order to find the cross product. Okay, so this is the cross product. So let me just put in equal sign and equal sign here. Okay. And if we do that, first starting with J, with I, we we'll say I, row by column. Okay. This is the row, this is the column. I'm going to close this one, close column. So I'm going to have R cos theta here. For J, this row, this column and this row. So I'm going to have negative R sine theta minus zero okay then for k so plus k we're going to have r negative r sine squared theta negative minus negative r cos squared theta okay and if we simplify here we're going to have r cos theta i plus r sine theta j and here we have sine squared theta and r cos squared theta so if we factor out, if we factor out negative r we're going to get negative r since cos squared theta plus i sine squared theta is equal to one okay okay now let's find the magnitude so I'm going to say the magnitude of VR, V theta, is going to be the square root of R squared cos squared theta. I'm going to square X squared plus Y squared plus C squared plus R squared sine squared theta, okay, plus R squared, okay. Remember, the square negative, we get a positive, and this is equal. So, if we factor R squared theta, you're going to get R squared theta plus R. We're going to have R squared plus R squared. So, this is equal to 2R squared, and this is equal to root 2R okay and now we're good we're going to say our limits for r okay since we're going to say for theta okay so theta is the outer integral 2 pi 0 okay so this is the limits for our parameters then for r we're going to have 2 and 3 then the cross product the function of the cross product is root 2 r and i'm going to say dr d theta okay i should be very careful here this is not i'm not using the central coordinate so there's no jacobian here okay so you just dr d theta from your parameters if it was x and y say dy dx if it was n later i could say that don't add r here please okay so let's integrate 2 pi 0 root 2 r squared over squared 3 2 the theta okay and if we do that we're going to say upper bound minus lower bound face we're going to have 9 root 2 over 2 minus 4 root 2 over 2 the theta okay you can simplify that and we're going to have we're going to integrate with respect to theta so it's 9 root 2 over 2 theta minus 4 root 2 over 2 theta our limits 2 pi and 0 and if we solve this we're going to get the same answer the same answer we got when we use the first method so it was 5 root 2 pi okay so as you can see this method also if the first one was faster of course but you should practice this one since you have a variable calculus okay 
you want to calculate the kale so it's just your practice here yeah? calculating the kale calculating the divergent okay so thanks for watching i hope for support the form of likes and comments